Hey, good morning. I'm Dan Galligan from Meyer Galligan Law. Uh, we do a lot of work with uh, uh, businesses, business owners on contracting with their customers, vendors, uh, suppliers, uh, and just general commercial contracting in addition to the M&A work and estate planning work that we do. An issue that's come up uh, a few times lately is on general contracting with your uh, distributor, with your supplier. Uh, you enter into a PO or a sales order or a longer term agreement, longer form agreement, and in there you have negotiated terms on everything you can think of. Or in a shorter term PO, you have very few terms. Uh, both of these documents, though, often will re refer to, uh, will say, you know, this agreement, this PO, this SO is subject to the terms and conditions uh, as set forth on our website, period. Uh, we're hitting a lot of times where our clients are just signing those, not really reviewing it, not thinking about it, not going, what's in those terms and conditions? Here's the problem. Just recently, I'm noticing a lot of these standard terms and conditions are go much, much farther, further than, than the standard terms and conditions. For instance, I just uh, reviewed one that actually had IP infringement disclaimers uh, within the standard terms and conditions, which was in direct conflict with our main agreement, which had uh, IP representations in it. Uh, dispute mechanisms will be put into the into these standard terms and conditions, modified warranty terms. So even though I negotiated the terms of a warranty within my main agreement, these standard terms and conditions modify it. Uh, then there's issues on, okay, well now we have a conflict between your standard terms and conditions and your contract that we just negotiated, what controls? All issues that need to be thought out before you sign the agreement. Once you sign it, what are we going to do? We're going to try to fix it, obviously. But know on the front end, those are things that you can't just simply uh, look past because it's the other guy's standard terms and conditions. Let's look at those. Uh, we're here to help you. Uh, we can do that uh, very cost effectively. Uh, but we really want to help you with your business and your general contracting needs.